Australia can be such a beautiful place. But we also have big spiders. And that's on my car door. Now, the options are not get in the car, somehow get the spider out, or just set the car on fire and be done with it. As you can tell, I'm not scared of spiders. I'm probably half a metre from it. But there is no way that I am touching that or trying to get it off. <laughs> oh, yuck. I know they don't hurt you, but it's, they just move really quick. Hmm. Yeah. Luckily, I don't have to go anywhere. I was just putting something in the car and I saw something move. And yeah, that's what it was. Now, I can close the door and it will be fine, like it won't get squashed. And leave it there, but there's chances I can come into the car, because at the moment it's not actually in the car, it's on the outside door bit. I could leave the door open and it can still get in the car. Or I can get a stick and very gently try and get it out. Don't worry, I'd never kill it. I'm not, I don't kill spiders. Hmm. But I really don't want to touch it. Even touching it with a stick will freak me out. <laughs> I think I might just go get my breakfast and stand here and watch it, see what it does. So I decided on the broom. Don't worry, I didn't hurt it. Can you see it yet? They're very well camouflaged. So what you do is you just use the bristles and just flick it. There was no girly screaming, which is a miracle. And it only took me two goes. The first time you hid, they can go quite flat and hide in spots. And he was in between the rubber and the door. But yeah, just needed to grab hold of him and flick him out. But he's fine because um, he was just walking or running. And he's just standing still because I'm not pestering him anymore. But there's a tree just where I'm standing, so I'm trying to coax him over to the tree instead of back into the car but that's just part of living in Australia I managed to get it on the end of the broom I'm not sure you can see it there but god did that send the heart rate up <laughs> it latched onto the bristles and then I was like ah quick run to the tree so we've got a big tree here now I'm just waiting for him to climb off, and he probably won't. You can hear the birds in the background. That's a magpie, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. I can see them. Oop. Yeah, magpies calling each other. I don't know if the camera's picking up the bell sounds, but they're bell birds. That was magpies. Not sure you can hear the bells. You can see the magpies up there. We've got like a fire pit thing. I can't zoom in. Off. There we go. The mischief little things. 
I'm so it mischievous. Mis oh god, I can't decide now. <laughs> mischievous? I think that's it. And during nesting season, which I think is around October, they swoop. And it's really annoying. But they were the ones just calling each other. I was eating up there yesterday, so there's probably crumbs and stuff up there on the ground. This is our firewood cart. It's seen better days, but hey, it's still going. <laughs> Loading up some firewood. So here's the fire pile I was talking about. Conveniently next to the tree that fell down. Got all sorts of different sizes. I love the colors of the timber. It's quite dark brown and red. Hoping it's showing up on camera. So, First of all, we have to find some little sticks like that, get the fire going. I do cheat and use a fire lighter, like a little block that you light and it just keeps burning for a little while. Yeah, I've got the cart up there because last time I did it, I had it on the grass and it was really hard to pull along. So I do have to walk further to the cart, but it's easier in the end. I thought I was just recording. But I don't think I was. So I'm just going to keep my camera going. It's got four minutes left on it. Here they come. I can hear them. Here they're coming just over the trees. It's one. I don't know if it's on camera. Not sure what that is, but that's, don't think that's a cockatoo. That last one was silent. <laughs> Come on, I've only got three minutes on my camera to get you. All right, I'll turn it back on if they come back again. Why must you be so heavy? Look at the wheels, they're just about have it. Oh, this is really heavy. Can you hear them squawking? Oh, and why must the fire piles be so far away from the house? Oh, next door dog. Oh, she's friendly. Doesn't sound friendly. It's in my yard. <laughs> Here they come. It's getting dark now, so the footage is pretty grainy. Sorry, I'm trying to keep an eye on next to this dog. Because I've never met it before. Barking at me. Luckily, it's a little way away, so should be right. It's still barking. <laughs> I might give them a call and say, "Hey, give me those dogs out." 